bringing things together is the creative act. A glass hand. It's very intuitive and it's very playful and quite a bit of elasticity. Numbers, more numbers. And that's because there's a kind of principle behind choosing them. And that principle, as I say, is not articulated, it's intuitive. Yeah, there's no right or wrong. Like every, the table always looks good. No matter how much stuff I put out or how many things I take away, it always, it always works. Yeah. Why did I buy this one? Yeah, sometimes I buy a book just for a single, a single image in the book. Often I'll buy a book <laughs> just for one image. This is the image that kind of got me going on this one. My job is not to explain. <laughs> it's just, it has something, it's graphic, it's simple. I don't like to analyze too much. It's like, you know, letting intuition take over. This is just an envelope that's kind of overstuffed. And I really like its physicality. I'm thinking of making an artwork that's something stuffed into an envelope. These books are pretty great. I like um, Errata. And uh, this has a really nice errata in the book. It says, correction, wartime was discontinued on September 30th, 1945 at 2 a.m. A couple of my favorite things are these, um, these antique marbles. I've used it in a couple artworks before. Beautiful rows, beautiful colors. Circles, colored circles. A box of numbers, big text on a big piece of cut cardboard. The older I get, the more I realize it's just like trusting your gut and finding these beautiful things and bringing them together and presenting them in combinations. Magic trick. And that's enough. It's more than enough. Found. Just finding things I love and putting them together. It all comes down to love, things you love.